Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back again to a brand new video. Do you want to add CVTI model to Stable Diffusion? This guide will show you how to download, configure, and integrate a CVTI model into your Stable Diffusion setup. Follow along to enhance your model capabilities. So, guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience so first of all guys you need to understand that Civit AI is a platform in the community dedicated to the development sharing and support of AI models as you can see here explore thousands of high quality stable diffusion models share your AI generated art and engage with a vibrant community of creators now this model is particularly those related to image generation so it provides a space where developers and enthusiasts can collaborate, share models, and discuss advancements in AI technology. So on the other hand, when we talk about stable diffusion, is basically a type of generative model, specifically a diffusion model, used for creating high quality images. It works by iteratively refining no noise into coherent image throughout a, a process that mimics the way particles diffuse in a medium. The method or this method basically has shown great promises in generating detailed and diverse images from textual descriptions making it a popular choice in the field of AI generated art. Now, to make your, basic as you know, AI is a machine learning, so to make your machine learn faster and to get a couple of models that your AI machine can learn from it, Civitai is basically a platform that you can just go for an art that you'd like and simply use the specific model in your machine learning. For example, I like this cat, I can just go right here and of course I should be able to log into my account and usually you would be able to download the files or basically anything that is related to the model. So here you can follow them, you can view uh, every tool that you have used, you can here view other details about it and basically you can even search for specific models, let's go here and just like that you can find variants of style, celebrity, characters, and much more things. Let me just go ahead and just go ahead and download for example this one. So here you can literally go ahead and download this model. So this is art, this is a design that you can download the model of it simply by clicking in here so you can download it and the model should be downloaded. Now how you can do so, you simply have to log in into your account which basically could be done in few seconds or few clicks just by signing in with your Gmail account. Right after that, you simply have to go through this, accept and give them some details and then you will be able to actually download the thing. Now how can we use these models in Stable Diffusion? Well, first of all as you can see guys here we have couple of affirmations in this github article that we are going to read. Now how to use the various types of assets available on the site depend on the tool that you are using to generate your images using stable diffusion. We've included instructions for a few of them here but if your tool isn't here we invite you to open the Q&A discussion post providing directions so we can include it here. Here we have fine-tuned model checkpoint, dream booth models. To download the custom or to have them connected to your stable diffusion, download the custom model and place the model inside the model stable diffusion directory of your automatic 11.11 web UI instance, refresh your model list or restart stable diffusion web UI, select the custom model from stable diffusion checkpoint, input field, use the trend keyword in a prompt, then make awesome images. So here we have processes of each model that is in that website. So you can here understand directly how you can download these models and actually have use of them. Of course, there is not every single model here, 
but in case you found any kind of models that is that are new you can simply open and create a discussion post and just type your model give some references and give them the link and they will make sure that you are well prepared for it to be downloaded and to use it in your machine learning stable diffusion here there is a couple of them so we can learn them all there is fine tune model six point as we said there is this textual inversions uh, we have aesthetic gradients hyper network LoRa, AllDUI, Locon, Wildcards, Motion Module, uh, CMDR, Stable Diffusion UI version 2, AI Nodes, and much more. These guides are basically few steps that you can follow so you can skip every single YouTube video that you might face during your life. You can just come to this article and you will find every single model that you might find in Civit AI and you will be able to actually download it and use it within your stable diffusion in a few steps the maximum step that's gonna take you is about seven steps or basically six um so everything here is very simple very dedicated for the user base or for the machine learning base people that are interested in that domain to actually get to set up their models in a few clicks it doesn't even take that much so you simply have to use these models from civet ai now let's go back to civet ai as you can see here and let's take a look at it and to take much better uh, idea about how it works so let me just sign out real quick okay and there we go so let's go ahead and click on models and let's go to animal so here for example you will get a couple of details about these models and you will first of all get the name of the model for example here we have checkpoint excel here we have laura which we have included inside of this article so here we have laura here we have checkpoint um, we have also as you can see wild cards uh, there is um, wild cards here so the, the most known ones or the most repetitive ones are basically being posted in this website they are basically being mentioned so you will not find that big of a problem while using it so the most used models are basically mentioned in here so the way that you are going to use them is already maintained already mentioned here do you don't to have to do anything crazy just follow them there is even details about setting etc as you can see here for example about new version um, old versions so everything is mentioned in detail and you can literally just download everything just as you would like it to be as you can see for example here I can download it it will take 83 kilobytes this is the model card you can just open it with JSON and it is basically like even like a free tool to use for those who don't know about it and yeah guys this is basically it this is how you can add Civet AI to your stable diffusion I hope you learned from this video and see you guys in the next tutorial